Hi, my name is Adam Hebrilla and I would like to welcome you back. It is November, it is all about gathering and coming together for that special meal. We're gonna create this unique, one-of-a-kind centerpiece that is good for yourself or as a gift for anyone you love. The things we're going to use for this design is just whatever casserole dish you have at home or you can go buy one because remember this is going to be a gift. So I actually picked this up at a thrift store, don't tell them, but it's cute so it works. It's autumn. Of course our flowers. A brick of floral foam, wet floral foam. You can get this at the store, you can get this at a craft store, pretty much wherever will sell this that has flowers. And then some water, I already added nutrients to the water to just show you how to actually soak this. This is extremely important. And I know there's a lot of you who don't know how to do it, so we're gonna do it. First thing you're gonna do is cut it to fit size. It doesn't have to be perfect, because we're covering it. So as you can see, that fits in, but I need another little wedge. So that's dry, it'll fit in perfectly. What you don't want to do is you don't wanna pour water over the top, you don't wanna push it into water. What we need to do is just let it float down in the water on itself. As you see, it'll change colors as it goes. This ensures that it's completely saturated and it'll keep your flowers alive much, much longer. Now that it's soaked, I put it in. As you can see, it's not perfectly cut, but it does its job, so don't be so crazy about getting it perfectly done. The first thing I'm gonna do is add our biggest flower, which is the mini hydrangea. We really want this stuff to be close to the surface. We're not extending it up. We really want surface covered. So as you can see, I cut it very little bit, and I put it in, and it covers that right up. So we're gonna go in, and add our bigger flowers, the mums, some of these gorgeous quicksand roses. Those are so beautiful, aren't they? One of my favorite roses ever. And as you can see, I'm creating somewhat of a pattern. I really have this angle situation going on. I love the line of that. It adds interest to your design. Then we have these dyed carnations. And as you can see, everything is one level. We really want it to be the one level. All right, it's looking good so far, don't you think? Next, let's add our mums. So these, we're gonna pop these right off the stem. These are what we call laterals. Let's pop those right off. So then we have a lot of insertions. I've had somebody ask me why I throw stuff on the ground. It's not realistic in your home. I do it because I'm in a film studio. If you don't want to do it in your home, that's your business. But it doesn't matter. You could put it on the ground and pick it up later. All right, for our mums, we're gonna create different lines. And you notice I'm giving everything a fresh cut. And as you could see, I went halfway up the one side and I'm gonna do the same thing in reverse on the other side. And you could see how fast this is going, right? And I'm gonna do little pockets on the corners. My inspiration for this one was, it never fails, you're going to someone's home for the holidays and it's all about gathering. And some people who are a little control freak, like myself, I'm the first to say, no, don't bring anything, I wanna make sure everything's right. 
But then you want to bring flowers to their home and the table is just full of containers of food, right? Everywhere is food, food, food. And flowers are so important. So why not do this in a food container that they can keep afterwards and the flowers take center stage just like the food. I do this for all home parties I go to where there's going to be lots and lots of food. I just put it in a special little container that they can keep afterwards and then it's beautiful for them. Our stock, we're going to do the same thing we just did with the palms. And these can go a little bit higher. These can dance over the rest of the flowers just to give a tiny bit of height, not a lot, but just a little bit of height. And I'm gonna do little pockets of those all around the design. This is what we call a pave design in the floral world. It's a design that has motion, clustering, groupings of flowers. And we're gonna do the same thing with the Ostromeria. So here's the thing, like with lilies and Ostromeria, anything that needs to open, you really wanna pick up this bouquet two or three days ahead of time, so that way they fully open. Because as you know, when you first pick it up in the store, these aren't open yet, they're very tight, but give it a couple of days ahead of time, and you can do this and it'll be fine. And that way all of your blooms look perfectly open. These, I'm just gonna do groupings of these in as well. Okay, our last insertion is our Ruscus. We're gonna cut it into little pieces about that size. We don't need this big stem, but we also don't wanna throw a lot of it away. We wanna make sure we get this gorgeous brown interwoven to carry this brown through. So go ahead and cut those all. And I'm going to start with the exterior. Just kind of put it around the sides to cover up any of that foam that still may be showing. We don't want any of the mechanics to show. And wouldn't this be the perfect accompaniment to the dinner table full of food? in their casserole dishes. Now you have something of flowers in there and it blends out to everything and the company has it to keep. It almost looks like a crust edge going all the way around with this brown rusk, it's beautiful. How pretty, right? And our final add-on we're going to do is, of course, I got some gold utensils, just like if it was at a table. And we're gonna put these right into there. And then they can keep these as well. And it just completes the whole look. So this is my take on a holiday gathering centerpiece idea. I hope you guys love it. Give it as a gift, keep it for yourself. Whatever you want, I know you're gonna have a good time with it. 
Remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you next month, December. Have a good one.